In this video, four of our beginners who have never competed before will be taking on the ABA Ultra Submission Grappling Series. We take home some hardware, make some friends along the way, and capture what might be one of the craziest overtime rounds ever. Let's go, Joseph! Let's go! That guy was talking to me mid bad and I was like, no, I know. <laughs> This is Dom, and as head coach and owner of the gym, he's responsible for preparing us for the competition. Oh, tell me about Dom. What do you think about Dom? What do I think about Dom? Dom's like equal parts Chinese businessman, equal parts jujitsu coach. And I think the energy that he brings into the, the gym and the training is, I think it allows us to progress very, very effectively. He's been training us really hard for AVA this weekend and I'm feeling very confident. I have four matches. How many are you gonna win? What's the goal for you? Four submissions. Two rules. Don't get submitted, submit. With the days counting down to AVA and the tension amongst the team growing, we gather at the gym for one final training session before the weekend. Training is usually divided up into two groups. The beginner classes, for us white belts, where the focus is on fundamental positioning and basic movements, and the advanced classes, where the blue belts and above can practice their scary leg stuff like knee reaping. But at an all-levels class, all colored belts are welcome, which means our beginners use this as their opportunity to get some last-minute training in with higher-skilled opponents. Against the higher belts, they will be forced to develop more consistent and effective strategies that they will no doubt hope to implement in their matches on Saturday. But before any of that, every single one of the competitors has to make weight. Okay, what do you need to be at? 196.2. I just went to the sauna. I was one pound over, so I thought I'm gonna go to the sauna, have a nice medium intensity session, sweat a pound out. Let's go! He makes weight! He makes weight! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> With that, we make our way to the official weigh-in. What's your name? Delta? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're good, you're good. All right, put your clothes back on. We arrive at the venue on competition day. Just behind these doors lie the sacred battlegrounds on which our competitors... We eventually find the right doors and enter the gymnasium. And to our left sits a table of gold, tantalizing our desires for glory. Eric, one of our brown belts, is about to engage in what's known as an overtime round. If there's no submissions in regulation time, each competitor gets one minute to try and submit their opponent starting from back control. These are always super intense and can last anywhere from a minute to one second. And if there's no submissions, the player with the fastest escape time wins. Now I'm gonna let this clip play to hopefully capture how intense these matches are. Despite his best efforts, our esteemed brown belt loses by fastest escape, and our beginners watch on as the reality of competition sets in. And in the meantime, what is Joseph up to? This man in the tights is Dariush, and he is Joseph's first opponent. When I initially asked Joseph what he was doing in this moment, he lied and said he was just looking for a place to warm up. And when I said, well, I mean, it looked like you were spying on Dariush a little bit there. I have it on video. He admitted that's what he was doing, but he called it advanced recon. As the beginners wait for their matches to start, the blue and purple belts are putting in their work. Dave wins his first three matches by submission and finds a spot in the gold medal match. Ricky manages to secure a W via armbar and Tag gets two victories in overtime. Guz and Amir add two more overtime victories and Amanda finishes both of her opponents in her bracket with rear naked chokes, securing our first gold medal. The wait is over, it's time for the beginners. For the first time ever, Joseph steps onto the mats for his first match against Dariush. Good Joseph, good Joseph. 
Good, Joseph. After a little bit of stand-up, Joseph takes his shot. It's a nice slam, but he falls into guard, where Dariush will keep him for the next three minutes while trying to head and arm triangle Joseph through his guard. After a few resets and a lot of posturing, Joseph finally makes his move and hits one of the slowest sweeps like ever. There we go. Okay, slow, 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 slow. How much time is he out? 40 seconds. Head an arm triangle, just do it. Yeah, he's got it. Get those legs over, get those legs over, Joseph. Get those legs over, Joseph. Squeeze it, squeeze it, Joseph. <laughs> Joseph gets the submission via head and arm triangle, just like we practiced. And on the mat right behind him, our other beginner, Briggs, wins his first match by fastest escape in overtime. As we celebrate Joseph's victory, Will picks up a W, and Tanger finishes this armbar with literally one second left on the clock. And that takes us to Joe's next round. Joseph is like the biggest white guy I know, but this is Connor, who rivals Joseph's bigness and whiteness. And to be completely honest, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to feel about it. But anyways, they start with some stand-up, and Connor tries to pull guard before almost getting his back snatched by Joe, but he manages to wriggle his way out like a little worm, like a little muscular worm. And then after a little bit of back and forth, the round goes to overtime. This is Joseph's first competitive overtime round. Let's see how he does. Joseph. Joseph locks in a really tight body triangle, but as Connor begins to pivot, he starts losing the grip. Connor brings his left leg over, actually locking in the body triangle even further, and it looks like there's no escaping this for Connor. But then this happens. The ref didn't see that Joseph still had a body triangle and called the round early. He then informs the participants that they're going to be starting the round again. Connor escapes 10 why. seconds faster. Sky escapes. And we've been at uh, really nice escapes. So. Like 14 seconds, maybe? That looks strong, though. Joseph wins the round by fastest escape and moves on to his gold medal match. Joseph, you're better. You're better. You're better. Fix your hair though. Fix your hair. Just fluff up the front. Not that much. Okay, let me fix it. Yeah, 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 yeah. One more. Depending on how this match goes, I'll dictate how, how my next match needs to go. Prof wins in overtime and Will wins to secure his silver medal. Amir loses his gold medal match, and I'm shook because this is the first time I've ever seen him get tapped ever. Watch the speed of this escape by Briggs as he secures the W and makes it to his gold medal match. Yeah, Briggs! Prof secures another overtime victory as Anakat, one of our other beginners, prepares for his first match. You got one more? One more, baby. For finals? Yes, sir. Let's fucking go, bro. Let's fucking go. And Dave, our purple belt hero, unfortunately loses in his final match and secures a silver medal. And that wraps up the higher belts matches. All that's left is the rest of the beginners. In Joseph's gold medal match, he's up against the second deadliest looking beginner in the bracket, Hong Yu, who earlier in the day had approached Joseph and fraternized with him. 
PAA where he tried to be friends with me before the match, but like we were warming up, try to make him friends. Turn the fuck off. <laughs> with friends mode off, Joe and Hong Yu take to the mats. Good scroll, Joseph! The round goes to overtime and Hong Yu seems very happy. We think it's likely that Hong Yu and his coaches have been specifically training overtime escapes in preparation for ABA. But of course, so have we. What this round will come down to is who has trained harder. Hong Yu escapes in just eight seconds. But it's not over. Insta escape. Eight seconds, go. Spaz harder than you've ever spazzed before. Breathe in. Breathe, Joseph. Joseph wins by fastest escape and secures his gold medal. No, I know. <laughs> With the first gold out of the way, our next beginner, Briggs, prepares for his gold medal match. Head up, head up. Brain breaks. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Get your frames in. Get your right leg. Get your right leg in between his breaks. Watch the arm triangle. Watch your left arm. Get your left arm out first. Circle up on back. Get your right leg in between his. Put your hand towards your ear. Left hand to your left ear. Pull your elbow out. Pull your left elbow down. There we good go. Good work, Briggs. Okay, okay. Frame. Good. Breathe. You're good. Breathe. You're good. Get your guard back. Try to regard. Pull your left leg under. Left leg yeah. in. There we go. Good. Jump over. Jump over. Get over the leg. Get over the leg. Get around. Get around. Get your leg. Reaping. Reaping. Oh, he was reaping while he fell. That was great. That was a reaping ankle lock. No? He wasn't reaping? No. <laughs> Briggs loses his final match to what looked to be a clearly prohibited action at the white belt level known as reaping, which would normally result in a DQ if the ref had called it. Maybe it was the angle he was at, but basically everybody else, including Jay's corner, could tell what had happened. It's a tough way to go out, but our second beginner Briggs takes home a silver, which brings the team's total medal count up to two golds and five silvers on the day, but we still have two competitors to go. But at this point, the vibes in the gym have shifted. 
This late in the day, most of the competitors and spectators have gone home, and that fiery competitive environment that was there in the beginning of the day is just no longer around. So as our last two beginners begin their ascent to glory, keep in mind that if you like a high-paced competitive environment, the earlier in the day you compete, the better. But Anakat and Sahaj make the most of it and put in some very competitive rounds, both of them sweeping their division, until they end up facing each other for gold and silver. Now, if Anakat can just avoid Sahaj's signature American... Oh. Oh, crap. And that's it for our beginner's first tournament. It was a lot of fun, and as a team, we ended up taking home five silvers and three golds. Our beginners take home two silvers and two golds. Not bad for their first competition. We have a lot more jujitsu content coming, so remember, if you liked the video, make sure to drop us a like and hit that subscribe button. Follow us on Instagram, and if you're from the Lower Mainland or Greater Vancouver area, come check us out at the gym. We'd love to have you, and who knows, uh, you might fall in love with me or jujitsu.